Picture a cosmic event so huge that it casts shadows on Earth, even in daylight. That's what might happen soon. Betelgeuse, a star in the Orion constellation, is acting strange, suggesting it might explode into a supernova, lighting up our sky like never before. Let's dive deep into what's really going on with Betelgeuse and how it might affect Earth and the whole solar system. Betelgeuse, around 650 light-years away in Orion, isn't just any star. It's a red supergiant Betelgeuse is special not only for its brightness, but also for its role in human culture. Named after the Arabic Yad al jauza meaning the Hand of Orion, it's been observed for centuries, guiding travelers and captivating stargazers with its reddish glow. Imagine a star so massive it could engulf our solar system. Betelgeuse, at 10 million years old, is much younger than our sun, but its immense size means it burns through its fuel faster, leading to a shorter life. Now nearing the end of its life, Betelgeuse is on the brink of a spectacular finale, a supernova explosion, releasing unimaginable energy and brilliance. The last time Earth saw such an event was in 1604 with the Kepler supernova, visible even during daylight for weeks. Supernovae like Betelgeuse's are rare events, but their remnants offer valuable insights into the life cycles of massive stars. Betelgeuse's recent behavior has astronomers buzzing. Between October 2019 and early 2023, it underwent a significant dimming, catching the attention of astronomers worldwide. Although it seemed to return to normal by April 2023, subsequent months saw its brightness surge by 50%, sparking discussions about its future. Could we be on the cusp of witnessing one of the universe's most dramatic events? Betelgeuse's unpredictable behavior suggests we might be closer than we think to experiencing its breathtaking explosion. Betelgeuse, one of the most recognized stars in our night sky, suddenly throw a celestial curveball stars are not just twinkling dots above us, they are dynamic entities with life cycles, activity, and mysteries of their own. For many celestial bodies, periodic brightness variations can be predicted, much like the rhythms of Earth seasons. In its stellar lifetime, Betelgeuse has clocked in a fairly consistent 400-day luminosity cycle. But during its great dimming, it seemed to go against its nature, challenging our understanding of the celestial wonders above. Now you might be wondering, are we on the brink of a stellar revelation? While the exact reasons for Betelgeuse's irregularities are still under investigation, a compelling theory has emerged. This theory, centering around stellar activity and mass ejection, proposes a tantalizing scenario. Imagine Betelgeuse as a giant celestial volcano suddenly erupting and spewing a colossal amount of its matter into space. Past observations from the Hubble Space Telescope unveiled that Betelgeuse has previously ejected an enormous amount of its surface material into the cosmos. This ejection 100 billion times the mass typically released during similar solar phenomena was equivalent to several times the mass of our moon. Such events can lead to the formation of a dense dust cloud around the star, affecting its apparent brightness and making it temporarily harder to observe. Once this dust began to disperse or was pushed away by the star's radiation pressure, the veil lifted explaining its return to regular brightness levels. Either way, these recent events hint at a star that's not done with its surprises. Many speculate that Betelgeuse might be approaching the twilight of its life, a supernova event. A supernova is a cataclysmic explosion, an astounding burst of energy that can outshine an entire galaxy momentarily. This phenomenon occurs when there is a sudden change in a star's core such as when it exhausts its nuclear fuel, causing its mass to collapse inward and trigger a massive rebound effect. Born from the gravitational collapse of gas within molecular clouds, stars like Betelgeuse begin their journey by burning hydrogen in their core. This initial phase, known as the main sequence stage, lasts millions of years. But as stars run low on hydrogen, they evolve, embracing new energy sources. In Betelgeuse's case, as hydrogen depletes, it begins to burn helium, leading to the formation of carbon and oxygen. As helium runs out, heavier elements begin to form until iron builds up in the core. When this happens, the star balloons in size and then collapses, rebounding in a massive supernova. Recent research by Japan's Tohoku University suggests that Betelgeuse might be in its carbon-burning phase right now, meaning the core could collapse just a few decades after its carbon reserves are gone. However, other studies from Hungary's Konkali Observatory suggest the star is still in the earlier helium burning stage. Scientists agree on one thing, Betelgeuse is destined to become the Milky Way's next supernova. But pinning down the timing remains a cosmic guessing game, ranging from mere decades to 100,000 years. One fascinating detail is that when we look at Betelgeuse, 
We're not seeing it as it is now we're seeing it 650 years in the past, because that's how long its light takes to reach us. If it already exploded centuries ago, we wouldn't know until the light arrives. When it does explode, Betelgeuse will momentarily become one of the brightest objects in the sky possibly even rivaling the moon. Night could turn into day for weeks. Its fading shell would then form a glowing nebula, while its collapsed core becomes a neutron star. Though cosmic rays will be released, Betelgeuse is far enough away that Earth won't be in danger. At most, we may see enhanced auroras and minor effects on satellites. Beyond the science, such an event would deeply affect human culture. Imagine the Orion constellation suddenly transformed, its familiar star glowing like never before. It would remind us of our fleeting place in the cosmos and the constant cycle of creation and destruction that shapes the universe. The cultural impact of a Betelgeuse supernova cannot be overstated. Throughout history, sudden changes in the night sky have profoundly influenced human societies. Ancient civilizations often saw comets, novas, and eclipses as omens, shaping myths, religions, and even political decisions. If Betelgeuse were to erupt into a supernova in our era, the reaction would be global, amplified by instant communication and modern science. Unlike the supernovae observed in ancient times, this one would unfold before billions of witnesses worldwide, with telescopes and satellites capturing every stage. Social media would spread the spectacle within seconds, making it not just an astronomical event, but also a cultural and historical milestone. It would inspire awe, curiosity, and perhaps even fear, reminding us that the universe is far more powerful than we often acknowledge. The scientific payoff would be equally staggering. Modern observatories, including the James Webb Space Telescope, the Very Large Telescope in Chile, and countless ground-based facilities would train their instruments on Betelgeuse immediately. For the first time in human history, we'd watch a supernova from start to finish in unprecedented detail, tracking the collapse of a red supergiant and the birth of its remnant. The data would revolutionize astrophysics. Researchers could directly study the shock waves, radiation, and elemental dispersal of a nearby supernova. We would learn how heavy elements like gold, platinum, and uranium are forged and spread into the galaxy. In a very real sense, Betelgeuse's death would help us understand the origins of the matter that makes up Earth and ourselves. On a cosmic scale, the aftermath of such an explosion would ripple across Orion. The shock waves would compress surrounding molecular clouds, likely sparking the birth of new stars. Betelgeuse's death, therefore, would not be an end, but the beginning of new stellar generations. For Earth, the spectacle would be harmless but unforgettable. The brightness could rival a second sun, transforming our skies for weeks or months. Children would grow up remembering the time a star exploded and turned night into day. Artists, poets, and philosophers would draw meaning from it, just as their ancestors did with celestial events long ago. Ultimately, Betelgeuse reminds us of the fragility and grandeur of the cosmos. Stars live, evolve, and die on timescales far beyond human lifespans, yet their endings leave marks that last billions of years. When Betelgeuse finally goes supernova whether in our lifetime or thousands of years from now, it will be one of the most spectacular events humanity has ever witnessed, uniting science, culture, and imagination in a single cosmic moment.